Both teams lined up at the face-off circle. Referee Gilles Levesque ready to drop the puck on this hockey ultimate team matchup. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro set to call the action. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Canucks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And they can't connect. Picked up along the boards by McKinnon. Jones takes it along the wing. Takes the pass. Here's a short pass to Miller. Takes the feed from the wing. Here he is from the slot, and it's in the back of the net. Wow, this was quick. Hard to believe the game can change so quickly. An early score. And it is something that nobody quite expected. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Flyers certainly don't look like the road team tonight. Well, they look comfortable no matter where they're playing. I mean, they're on the road, sure, but they came out and were really aggressive off the opening drop. Grabbed along the boards by Stamkos. Moves it to Fox. And now he moves it to McDavid. Takes it into the slot. He was locked in there. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Flyers have taken a 1-0 lead. Crosby's won it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Zuccarello. And it's a quick pass to Goudreau. Moves it to the offensive zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Quick feed to Ovechkin. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Stopped by the goaltender, spectacular desperation play. What a steal in his own end. Vancouver's stick position is exemplary tonight. Teams can look at this on video and say, that's how you defend the middle of the ice. Blake's got the puck. Receives the pass. Lindros explores his options in the corner. Takes it to the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. The Flyers have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Takes the feed. Right in front, scores! Connor McDavid! It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Flyers now lead by two. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And now he tries to get it across to Matthews. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Slides it up front. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Stones him on the one-timer. Cormier's moving it ahead. On the backhand. That's blocked by Fleury. Past the midway mark in this period. The Flyers lead this one to zip. Ronix won the draw. Quick shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Takes the feed at the point. A shot, and he comes up with it. Jones moves the puck, dishes it to Kopitar. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Quick feed down low. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Big stop by the goaltender. Huge desperation play. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The Flyers have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Blocked in front. 
Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. And we've got a two-on-one. Denied by the goaltender. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. They go on the attack through center. Here he is in close. Oh, tremendous blood save by Fleury. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Oates wins it in the offensive zone. Rips it and rips it, gets a piece of it with the glove. Tough enough to make the save unless you can see it. He's got to fight his way and find the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Centering pass, and that's broken. They score! And the 6-0-4 digging that Canucks goal! Here in the late goings of the period, the Canucks make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. The Flyers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes it to the front, and there's the save. And a nasty hack on the play there. Uh, that's going to be well worth the two-minute minor. Klingberg's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. The Flyers have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And he slides it quickly to Goudreau. Now he takes it over the line. Maintains possession. No room for that one to get through. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Here he is, shot right in front. Made the save on the play. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Steps in and takes the puck. Now a quick pass to Subban. And that pass goes awry. And now it's grabbed by Barkov. And that's broken up. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. Hits him right into the boards. Ah, that's still smart. You can know it's coming, but the boards are solid. That always rattles you. Both teams strike offensively as period number one comes to an end. Opening face off for period number two, about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Flurry's had lots of pad taps in that first period, James. I don't know what the score might look like if he wasn't so good. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Cuts to the front. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Back at the point, they set it up. And sends it just out of reach. And the puck's booted away. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Comes up with the stop. Knocked away. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Denies him with the save. Taken along the wall by Kucherov. Vancouver's got control of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. And now he angles it across to Nylander. Looks to get the puck over to Crosby. Loses his balance on the play. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. The Flyers have it against the wall. Manages to hang on. A chase scores! Lights the lamp on the one-timer! The Flyers have now doubled their lead here in the second, but still lots of time left. Lots of time left, but they've done a nice job. They've had the majority of shots on goal, and now a little bit of a pad with that second goal. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! Just 20 seconds apart, that's a pair of goals! Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. The Flyers have reminded me of that old cliche here, Ray. When you're hot, you're hot. It's a point night now. 
everybody looking for points and goals as they are just clearly the better team tonight. Gets it over to Zuccarello. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Couldn't complete the play. They go on the attack from the left side. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. And now it's to McDavid. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Out front, deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Here's a chance. Big time stop there. The Flyers have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Ronix won it off the faceoff. Gains the zone through the middle. All alone. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hand, great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net. Everybody looked like they were in sand there. He pulled away from the pack and makes a beautiful move on the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Flyers have a four-goal lead. Puck picked up by Miller. Quick pass to Matthews. That pass doesn't go. Inside the offensive zone. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Let's the wrister go. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There goes the whistle. No extra attacker able to get there in time. Lemieux's hit, not viewed positively in the eyes of the officials. And charging is the call. And he makes the easy save. The Flyers are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and they lead in the second. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. And now it's over to Subban. Puts it on net. Oh, just wide of the net. He's going to be disappointed, James, because he worked so hard to get himself into position for that shot, and then he misses the net. Right up front, and that one's broken up. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. There's a nasty slash. Well, this is one way to protect the meal ticket. Yeah, you got to jump in there. There's no way he's going to take that fight invitation. Someone's got to step up for him. Stamkos is looking for somebody to engage in a fight with. He can't find the right guy. Even though they're getting spanked pretty good here, I don't think they're ready to give up on this game yet. I think this fight is a little bit of a... Hello to his bench saying, hey, let's not give this away yet. Five minute major for fighting. Time to the penalty. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Flyers with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Sends the pass over. Snaps it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Dead center, excellent save. Fires it on net. Oh, and just gets a piece of it. Flurry's really had a difficult time tonight. He's not looked comfortable. Even in warm-up, I thought he was a little bit shaky. He makes a good save there to keep his team somewhat in the game. In the final moments of this period, the Flyers have been all over them tonight. 5-1 is where we sit. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Flyers have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Morenz moves it into the attacking end. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. 
Moves it over to McKinnon. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation in what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Flyers don't have to score anymore. This is such a comfortable lead. Just make sure that they protect the puck and play this thing right to the end. Lots of time left in this period. It's a 5-1 hockey game. The Flyers take possession off the faceoff. Great save by Fleury. The Flyers have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Ronix won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Solid check to slow him down. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Fleury. Ronick's back to doing what he needs to do, and that's playing hockey. He's got to generate some chances. He had a five-minute... And look at that after the whistle here. Clearly trying to goad him into something. Yeah, or hurt him. That's a pretty good slash. Ronick's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Well, both teams seem to be a little calmer now after a pretty chaotic stretch just a few moments ago. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stop that one. And there's a chop after the whistle. Was it ever? He got his money's worth there. Carlson's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. The Flyers have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Passes over to Nylander. He got all of that hit on the play. Moves it to Blake. You could see that coming. That was such a big collision. They were both on the tracks, and he's down. He looks like he's going to need some help. That one stung, and he's slow to get himself back together here, James. I want to look at that again. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. 5-1 is where we sit to this point. Lindros wins it in the dots. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Back to the point it goes. And that's broken up. That knocks him off the puck. Taken by McKinnon. Sends it over to Declare. Along the half wall with the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes that pass back at the point. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Puck scooped up by Lindros. Glides along the blue line. There's the whistle. Here's the call from the officials. Zuccarello's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Fishing around for the puck, and he gets his stick into the player's feet. When he goes down, it's an obvious call. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Slides the pass over to Crosby. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. Sends it across, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. From one point man to another, rings the iron. The Flyers have peppered this goaltender with shots tonight. A big lead. I bet you the goalie's pretty happy he heard that noise of the post behind him there. Lemieux's got it across the line. Slides the puck over. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Puck grabbed by Crosby. Gives them nothing in front. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Well, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. They just want to run the clock out.
The Flyers' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Too much to not enough. It's 5-1. Oates has won the draw. Blocked in traffic. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. The Flyers have it in the offensive zone. Came up with the save on that play. High quality chance, high quality save. Quick feed to McDavid. Nothing doing on that. Sends a pass over. And that one's broken up. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The Flyers have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The setters will glide into the dot. Lindros wins the draw on their own end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Stopped by the goaltender. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Holt's calling card is his scoring. Not tonight. He doesn't have a sniff. And his team is getting punted pretty badly. Sends one up to Kessel. The Flyers take it across the line. To his teammate. And now it's grabbed by Kessel. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Hall. Can't catch up to the pass. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Here comes the sentence. The Canucks are getting two minutes for tripping. Vancouver's gonna have to make an adjustment here. Their injured player will not be back tonight. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Snapper from the slot at point blank range denied by the club by Fleury. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. The Flyers have pummeled their opponents tonight. They have been the busier team offensively and have converted numerous times here in this third period. Jones carries the puck in his own zone. Picked up along the wall by McDavid. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Feeds it on over to McDavid. Wrestling in close, off the crossbar. And we'll get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a souvenir. Late goings of this period. Well, one team sure came to play tonight. We've got a 5-1 game. The Flyers win it. From the point, looks to make something happen. And that shot gets caught in traffic. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick pass to McKinnon. Comes up with the stop. The Flyers have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. Moves inside! Made the stop on the play. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. The Flyers come up empty handed on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Played big in the moment there. They take possession as it scores! Wow, this is unbelievable. Four straight goals. They've dominated this play.
He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. The Flyers have been all over them tonight, and it continues here in this third. They haven't taken their foot off the accelerator for one second tonight. I've been really impressed how they've dominated this game. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Moves into the slot. Scores! Oh, my! The one-hander, he lays it behind him and just drags it into the net. Unreal goal. Once he gets in nose-to-nose -nose with the goaltender, you're always trying to sell the shot. If you're going to deke it, he goes to the forehand and puts it away. The Flyers are in cruise control here, but they're showing no signs of letting up. No, the lesson began about two hours ago, and it's not class out yet. Across the line! Scooped up along the wall by Kucherov. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Another stop by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. He's got a step. And squandered opportunity there, Ray. Hard to believe that's what came out of such a promising looking play. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. The Flyers' offense shows up in a big way tonight. Well, they had the puck in the offensive zone a ton tonight. You get that many shots on net, you're really not going to ever have to defend.